In your tablet robotics kit, you will have 10 dash programmable robots. Use the USB cable and the charging station in the kit to keep it charged with the USB port around the back, just here. The power button to turn it on is also around the other side. If it begins to spin its wheels when you turn it on, just put it down. The robot will receive updates from time to time and these will be uploaded via one of the iPad apps. It's a mostly automatic process and it will take about 10 minutes. There are a wide range of features built into the robot to give students a dynamic programming experience. The robot has got sensors built into the front and here at the back so that it knows when it approaches obstacles. It also has the ability to listen and can distinguish between normal speech and the sound of a loud clap. Students can take advantage of these sensors in the Path and the Blockly applications. There are also four programmable buttons here on the top of the robot and you'll see options for these in the apps as well. There are a range of lights here in the front and the side that can be controlled and you can also use a series of pre-recorded audio clips or record your own via the iPad apps. That Dash can then play back when the program is run. Dash connects via an iPad uh, using Bluetooth, so make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. Turn Dash on before you turn it on the app. Launch the Path or Block the app. Then click on the plus button. All switched on Dash robots are going to be listed, so if you have all 10 of them turned on, you're going to see a lot. Connect to any Dash. Once Dash is connected, click the profile picture on the top right, and then the orange settings button to choose a particular color. You'll notice that the lights on the side of his head will turn that color. That's how students will know which Dash they are using.